Hi, good morning. This is Dr. Ben Benham, and today we are going to demonstrate TCA cross technique for acne scars. So there are many different forms of acne scars. Uh, one form is that we have what's called ice pick scars, where basically it looks like somebody took an ice pick and basically just jabbed it into the skin. We have our lovely gentleman here today, and then we're going to demonstrate the TCA cross technique. So I've already performed some TCA on his right cheek. So if you come a little closer, you could see that the TCA, once we apply it, it turns a little bit frosty. That means a little white. And I've applied it specifically into the acne scars. The way to perform the TCA, typically I use either TCA 80 or 100%. And here is uh, how I apply it and then we go directly into the acne scars so this is what basically I've already done for about five minutes uh, five minutes ago and so it's frosted up and then a few minutes later from now the frost is going to go away and it's going to form a scab anywhere between five to seven days in my opinion every session of the TCA cross technique you get about seven to ten percent improvement per session that means it stimulates culture production and fills in the acne scar from the bottom up so now we're going to do some TCA cross on the other side so follow me it doesn't really hurt that much but it does sting for about a few minutes once after we do it so these are some of the ice pick scars basically that we have um, on the cheek so what we're going to do is I'm gonna now apply right into that spot. And within basically about 10 to 20 seconds, you can see basically that it's turning white right there. And surrounding the white spot, basically it's going to turn slightly red. I typically let the patient sit in my office for about 10 to 20 minutes to make sure everything's okay. And then they get to go home. So now what I'm going to do, we're going to do this again. Typically, in darker skin individuals, I like to use the TCA 80%. I believe it's as effective. And you see how I'm going right into the acne scars? And it's frosting up right now. And he has some on the temples. Look, that one right there. I also use it basically for box, box scar scars as well. There's another right there. Does it hurt a lot? Uh, stings a bit. Stings a bit, but then what happens is that after a few minutes, the sting goes down. Is that correct? Yes. For darker skin individuals, I also have the patients use a hydroquinone bleaching cream as well. Um, TSA cross is a very safe technique. Uh, there are always two side effects that I warn my patients about. One is a risk of hyperpigmentation, that means adding more pigment. But there's also a risk that the areas could become red after we do the procedure. So you can see these areas basically frosting up. Typically, I like to repeat the TCA cross technique once a month for about three to four months in a row. And again, on average, each person gets about seven to ten percent improvement per session. So if you do it about three to four times, you're looking at thirty to forty percent improvement. Well, that's it. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Benham from Dermatology Hair Solution in Santa Monica, California.